Greetings. Elder Blacklight. We're going to hit up on what we've been talking about all along. The culture of the cross. Uh, which involves politics. The black man being on the plantation. We want you to know that the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is not being taught effectively. There's no other guy on YouTube, cat on YouTube, man or woman, hitting hard, scared that they're going to lose some viewership and some subs. But if you got to wake the people up, you got to hit hard and you can't expect everybody to like what you're saying. What you say, the truth is not always popular. And what's popular is not always the truth. Now, we're going to hit on, start off with the coronavirus. And I told you that it was a, a man-made governmental weapon. Now, this guy here is from Iraq, and uh, he has to be translated. Talking, I think he's talking in Arabic. What he says here: What proves that the coronavirus is American-made and American plot? What proves that the coronavirus? It's an American made and an American plot. So let's continue. Is that there is a book. There is a book called The Darkness Dwellers. The Eyes of the Darkness. Now we're going to see can we uh, conjure that book up. But if not, we're going to keep on rolling. I think we're going to let it roll. Before, uh oh, let's stop it right there. It says here, before 2015 and also in 2018, two patents were issued in the U.S. to develop a strain of viruses under the same name. He says the patent is registered in the U.S. with a number and with a date. He says here the most prominent American economist. He gives the history of how the U.S. does a number. I don't want to take up too much time on reading this. We're going to go to the next point that I'm trying to demonstrate. When I was talking about Chuck D, Flavor Flav yesterday, Public Enemy, about Bernie Sanders. Check this out. On hall at CNN. Now, an audience member asked him whether curbing population growth will be a feature in his plan to address climate, the climate catastrophe, and here's what he said. Women in the United States of America, by the way, have a right to control their own bodies and make reproductive decisions. 
and the Mexico City Agreement, which denies American aid to those organizations around the world that, are, uh, that allow women to have abortions or even get involved uh, in birth control, to me is totally absurd. So I think, especially in poor countries around the world, uh, where women do not necessarily want to have large numbers of babies, and where they can have the opportunity through birth control to control the number of kids they have, something I very, very strongly uh, support. Now, right. CNN's Essie Cup tweeted that population control through abortion for the sake of climate is talking about eugenics. Now, for those of you who don't know what eugenics is, it's the science of selective and controlled breeding in an effort to increase characteristics. Welcome to another cold fusion video. I'm going to start this video off with a quote. Henry Ford once said, It is well enough that the people of the nation do not understand our banking and monetary system. For if they did, I believe there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning. I quote this because it encapsulates the fact that the contents of this video may be unsettling compared to the videos that I normally make. I still feel compelled to make this video because I've been exploring the financial world for the last four years and it's definitely given me a more complete view of the world. I want to share some of what I've come across with you guys. I'm also going to do a video about cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin in the future. And to understand why Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies may continue to rise, it's critical that you understand the contents of this video. I hope that you find this topic interesting and that it inspires you to do your own research afterwards. Now, with that said, let's begin. So who controls all of our money? It's a simple question. We all know that you and I don't control it. Our employees don't control it. The companies that they work for don't control it. So who does? Where does it even come from in the first place? I'll give you a hint. Money does not come from the government. It's a seemingly obvious question that's never asked or taught in school for some reason. Unfortunately, most people's lives are basically dedicated to money. It's all people ever worry about or talk about. We go to school to learn basically how to go to university, to learn the skills to get a good job, so that we can trade hours of our lives all for this thing called money. So what? So we just live just enough for the city. Uh, this is just a brief uh, overview on what I've been saying. Uh, the information is, is on YouTube. But most YouTubers don't want to get into it. When it comes to about talking about money. Because that's why they own YouTube to make some money. Yeah. But we'll sell out quick for this thing called money. I wonder are we born greedy? Do you think we born greedy? Do you think that we're born uh, automatically evil? Well, there are cases where there in the human, so-called human uh, family, so-called human family, that there's a strain of evilness. And it is attached to a certain group of people. But now we ain't going to get into that because YouTube don't like me talking like that. And I want to get this point across before they cut me off. Jesus was talking about the kingdom of heaven is within. That's what I've been talking about. Now, I've also been saying that the black man is the original man. We're going to prove that. If it's be the, the will of Allah, that we're going to tell the truth. 
because it is the day of judgment and it's up to you to draw the conclusion and my subscribers my sub soldiers some drew, drew you to just join you to me now the knowledge that I'm going to give you is going to enable you to control control your destiny your household your community without the help of the government because everything comes from within starts with a thought when you go to the root of the beginnings of the United States you'll see that the only uh, idea that they had was to control the planet this is black light saying uh, stay tuned this is a continuation stay in tune